He is correct. 26. Uh, let's go with um, Cheyenne. And 27. And let's go with Marley. Which of the following is a physical property of water? Um, D. And 28. All right, Mayor. Uh, let's go with Wes. What is the density of an object having a mass of 8.2 and a volume of 25 centimeters per three? And I put A. And 20, uh, 26. Correction, 25. Sorry. Hi, Grace. And 27. Now, if you get to 35, you're going to need to change the conversion factor up there to 35. Or do it with your average. Is everybody clear? I just gave you the example up there with 44. If somebody bumps you, you can see how it can change your variable. Yeah, hold on just a second. So, if this was the penny, 44 drops, we're trying to predict what the quarter will be. The diameter of the quarter is this, we're solving for the area, and they predicted 72 drops on the quarter. Five right now. 35? Yeah. 36. 36. Oh, I, I thought I might tip on that. 38. Oh, 40. That's pretty good. 26, uh, Eugene. Which is the same matter shown in this figure? Answer. 27, Kenzie. Which of the following is a physical property of water? 28. 28 is B. There was a test generator error. <coughs> So they wanted you to round that to four significant figures. You can see that on the board over here. The answer was 765,876. And you should have rounded that to 765,900, which would have been four. So 28 is B. We're using this as our guideline for the lab, but we're changing it a little bit. That's why you're going to do a lab write-up. So you're going to write about using a quarter. Now, how does the quarter come into play? So you're going to use the lab write-up. So up here, I went online and found the diameter of the penny is 19.05. The diameter of the quarter is 26, correction 24.26. Now we're trying to find the area, so the area is length times width, like the area of the floor. Like if you're going to do some carpet installation or some drywall or some uh, floor installation, you would need it for drywall until you need an area. So this formula comes in, the, in handy for us if you're going to do any type of construction. What's pi equal to? 3.14. So you're going to take 3.14 times the radius of the penny, which is half the diameter. That's how we got 9.5. Does everybody see how we got 9.5? Yeah. Okay, so that ends up being 283. Does everybody see that's millimeters squared? So area is always in square foot, typically at the hardware store. Are you familiar with that? Okay, so yesterday you should have got an average for the number of drops you could put on a penny. If your average is not 44, you need to use your data, not mine. Well, you have time today, so you have time today. So try to figure out how many drops you can get on a penny. Now this data right here comes from the quarter. We take half the diameter of the quarter is 12, and that ends up being 463. Then you're going to multiply times the 
conversion factor for the penny, this is going to predict how many drops you're going to get for the quarter. Do your math first, first, try to predict what you're going to get for the quarter and see if you can do that. The question is, did you get this number? If you did, great. If you didn't, try to explain why. There could be some, let's say, dirt on the quarter because the, you know, your number to be a little different. The, the, the slipperiness of the quarter or the penny can't affect uh, the, the tension. So surface tension, that is the ability of the water to stick to it. If you put soap on the penny and the quarter, you're going to see a different result. And 33. Isaiah? What is it? C is correct. And 34. All right, uh, Ryan. Measurement 0 0.53 per All right, so 10 of these questions will be on your quiz on Friday. So that's what we're trying to prepare you for, that you'll see them again. Uh, on Friday, they'll be... Pretty good. If you go over these, if there's a question you can ask me after class, you can look online. Um, I'll post these pictures there as well. But I want, to rem I want you to remember that um, Jacob, the gentleman I was talking to you about earlier from St. X, he didn't get into MIT immediately because he got a B. You know, just getting, you know, a lower grade than a B in a non-AP class can really affect you. Why? No, because the the AP classes, the A's bump up higher. They're on a different grading scale. So if you get an A in an AP class, you get like a four point. You get like a four point one. You see what I'm saying? So there are some variables there you just saw. If you hit the table and move it, it can uh, affect things. I do. Maybe like on five, six. I got a three so bad. Nine, ten, eleven.